In this module, I'm going to create a new Xamarin Forms project so that we can start our journey in this series. So without wasting any time, let's switch to the Wheel Studio. Well, right now I'm using Wheel Studio 2017 Windows Edition. Alright, inside the Wheel Studio, let's create a new project and choose Cross Platform Template. And then name your project to Colosseum or whatever you like. And then hit OK. And the next thing is that, what kind of code sharing strategy you want, shared or .NET standard. Also in the previous version of Visual Studio, most probably Visual Studio 2015, you will see a PCL or Portable Class Library Project option. But now, in the latest version of Visual Studio, Microsoft and Xamarin team has updated the PCL project to .NET Standard Project. So we need to select this .NET Standard option. Also, in this course, we will start the project from scratch. And that's why I'm using this empty template. We have few other options like, are you want to target Android, iOS or UWP? Well, we can target all these platforms. But to be honest, no one cares about UWP or Windows devices. I mean, the market of Windows user is less rather than the market of iOS and Android users. And that's the reason I have not installed the UWP option in my Visual Studio. Alright, let's hit OK. Well, if you have installed the UWP option and if you want to target UWP along with this project, then it's up to you. I will not recommend this. Alright, just wait for a moment until all the projects will be loaded successfully. And here, now we have three projects inside my solution. The one is .NET Standard Project. The second is the Android Project. And the third is iOS Project. Well, in this course, I will use my .NET Standard Project and we will write all kind of code inside this .NET Standard Project. Also, in this course, we will use the Windows edition of Wheel Studio. And it means that we can create both Android and iOS applications, but we cannot test our iOS application without the physical MacBook or iPhone. If you want to test the iOS application, then you will need a MacBook.